Oh, the video's going. Hey, what's up? It's Cecily, and it's This Week in Rideshare News. An Uber driver is now banned from the platform after a video of a passenger holding a ladder is shared on Facebook. <laughs> Two people. <laughs> and goes viral. The driver saw the spectacle, he filmed it, and put it on his Facebook feed as a laugh. Little did he know that the local council members would see this video and would ban the driver from using the platform for three months. He's lucky he didn't get banned permanently. At any rate, when the guy that posted the video found out about this, he said, I thought it was funny at the time and that's why I, that's why my wife filmed it. Not to cause a man to lose his taxi license, but his foolishness caused him to do it. Um, I don't know. I see things like this all the time. Uh, no one but the driver and the passenger actually know what happened, but like how they negotiated this. But like during Christmas time, I recall seeing a lot of people, like a lot of Uber drivers with Christmas trees and other random items on their car, period. And I think that this certainly goes beyond the scope of rideshare. And I think that Uber and Lyft need to do a better job of informing people or passengers what's acceptable. We're carrying bodies, maybe some groceries, luggage, and stop leaving the communication to drivers. I'm really surprised that Uber hasn't come up with a new business, like Uber Hall, you know what I mean? Like why haven't they tried to capitalize on yet another industry? Um, that would make more sense and it would be safer for everyone involved. New feature alert. California, we have a new feature coming up. We've all had those moments where we had a really great ride and the rider turns to you and said, this is awesome, I wish you could pick me up again and they go on about their day. Well, there seems to be some people at Uber who are actually listening and plan to implement this very feature. Uh, an email was sent last week to PAX, I received one too. Uber said that passengers would be able to choose their favorite or to add their favorite drivers into the app. When a passenger requests a, a scheduled ride, their favorite drivers will have the opportunity to accept the reservation. Okay, personal opinion inserted here. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like the idea of only meeting people once is very attractive to me in this space. Taking you somewhere and then you disappearing forever is my preference. Not yours, but mine. Um, I find myself like I can be kind of friendly um, and people think that's an invitation for like friendship but it's not I'm just being personable and I don't want those awkward moments of where we're like building the friendship <laughs> and not that let you down so that's my issue with it um, and I realize that those are my issues and they're not yours so I'm not projecting that onto you um, I think that a lot of drivers will actually like this and think that it's cool so with that being said what do you think of this feature uh do you like it or would you like it why or why not now for my favorite segment what would you do i saw this on facebook so here we go so i had to cancel an unaccompanied minor and i have mixed feelings about it now before anyone jumps all over me yes i know we can't take unaccompanied minors period no matter what end of story it's in the terms of service so i know that so no need to tell me that a million times in the comments but this is why i have mixed feelings about it the kid was an emancipated minor so it's obvious that he was able to prove to the court that he's been able to live and support himself without the help of his parents guardians or other adults he had his paperwork with him and showed it to me and it looked all legal and was signed and stamped and everything but he was still only 16 but in this case he's living legally as an adult and i looked through everything uber says and it has nothing about emancipated minors 
And I'm not even gonna call or email or ask because I would just be wasting my time. What would you ladies have done? That's a really good question. I'm not sure. Uh, I think I would have took him. I think I would have taken him to his destination. I wouldn't have put him out if he's an emancipated minor. He doesn't have any guardians that could even set up this ride, ride with him. I think I would have did it. Um, they may s not have anything about emancipated minors, but the boy has a legal document. And a legal document, I feel, from a judge, takes precedence over this terms of service that Uber um, puts together to protect themselves. I would have taken him and if something would have happened and Uber was like, look, we told you that you can't take them, and I would, I would take it to court. I would take it to court and I would be like, look, I did the best I could with what was given to me and now you need to go and create yet an addendum to all these other things you make assign and address what to do with emancipated minors. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thank you for watching. My name is Cecily and I have a channel called Drive Bill Drive. I moonlight here every Saturday at 6 a.m. So check us out. Please follow us so that you can get this information and you can also subscribe to my playlist that has all of my videos if you're here to see me. <laughs> anyway, um, meant that. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Check out my channel, Drive Girl Drive, Facebook, YouTube, out of here, done. Hope you guys make a lot of money. See you. Bye.